Okay guys, changing the impeller on a 2011 Mercury 90 horsepower four-stroke EFI. You can see I got all my cowls off. I even got my side cowls off, but that's another story. Let's just stick to the impeller real quick. The impeller, or the lower unit is pretty easy. It's just five bolts and it's off, so I won't get into that too much, but I wanted to show you up in this cavity if I can. There's your gear shift linkage right there. And I have mine in neutral and you'll see a plastic sleeve that I'll show you later. And there's my rubber opening, which my water pump impeller housing goes into. Now, there are some strange things going on with mine. And so I wanted to, the, the boat's new to me, but it's a, like I said, it's an 11. So let me just quickly walk back inside and show you what I've got in terms of impellers. Now, just quickly, so you know how to set up your lower unit to work on. Let me turn down the radio. It's pretty easy to use saw horses and two by fours like this. Now I forgot, but I recommend putting some bungee cords around these two by fours so they don't slip off. So I'll do that in a minute. I had it on there. I just took it off to outside to wash it. But let me show you what I had going on here. Um, okay, here's my housing. This was on here, or obviously my, actually my, my metal plate washer was on there first down on the low side. And then this thing, obviously, obviously it's over the shaft and then my housing. Now, what was weird was there was an O-ring. You'll see the kit that you get. There was an O-ring like that on there. I do not believe that's correct because mine fits into that rubber booty I just showed you perfectly without an O-ring. So I think somebody who did this didn't really know what they were doing, but um, I could be wrong. Hopefully you guys will correct me. I've watched like 10, 15 videos. I've been to all sorts of service manuals and it's driving me crazy. But I'm going to put this in the um, tripod real quick so I can show you what's going on here. Try to hopefully solve some mysteries. All right, so what happened is I got this kit. I'll show you in a second here. You probably saw these kit. It's a Quicksilver kit. And I'll show it to you. Okay, it's your Quicksilver impeller replacement thing. You can see the part number there, I hope. And it came with uh, only the impeller, not the housing, but the impeller, the metal gasket. I'll throw this down for a minute. So I got my basic metal gasket. I got my siliconized gasket, as you know, and I got my base plate. And you know the base plate goes on with the dull edges up towards the impeller so you don't, versus the sharp edges, sharp edges down to save your impeller. Now, I think it comes with more parts for other motors. It looks like Mercury changed their design weekly. It's driving me crazy. So I've got this assembly tool. This is like for putting on this, I think they're calling this a faceplate gasket or uh, I forget what they technically call it. I'll look it up for you real quick. They're calling it the number seven here, face seal. Now, some people might believe that this seal fits inside of the housing, but it does not, as far as I understand. Some people think, oh, there's that groove and this thing should be shoved up inside of there and have, you know, sit within that groove. But as you can tell, that would mean you'd have this little flange hanging down and interfering with your impeller that fits up in here flush. So this is just a face seal, like it's like its name. It's just designed to sit on top, which is odd. There's nothing pressing it down in there when you put it back into the motor. It just sits there. And I believe this tool, so-called tool, is something that literally just helps you slide it onto the shaft and then press it down to the right depth, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. It seems a little strange. Now, the other thing I thought was odd was I had one of those orange gaskets or O-rings, I should say, down in my shaft seal. I'm going to get a little better view here. It was down in that shaft seal, down in the hole here. Now, I've never seen any one of the videos anybody put one back in there. So I don't even know if that's accurate. So it's kind of a mystery. And then I get this other seal. Maybe you guys can hopefully correct me. I don't know what's going on here. And I got the two replacement orange ones that I told you about. I was going to stick both of them down in there because it looks like they both fit easily. 
I don't know if that's a bad idea or not, because I don't think I need one on here, because that, there's no such, you know, and then you get a new uh, key, uh, what do you call this thing? You guys know what that is, the uh, drive key holds the impeller from spinning. And then I get two other little gaskets. I'm just going through this bag because I want you guys to chime in and tell me what the hell's going on. I'm going to try to talk to Mercury tomorrow. Today's Sunday, but now I think this could be for relieving the lower unit oil pressure. Oddly enough, you pull one of those screws out to relieve the pressure on the oil because some Mercury's have create pressure on this seal. And then when you go to try to seat the, um, some other fittings, it won't go down until you relieve the pressure. So this could be a gasket for, you know, those screws on the side of the, the housing where you put the lower unit oil in. Uh, maybe I have, and then this thing, I don't know what this is. And so it, it's obviously for other motors, possibly for up here. Maybe it's for under this plate. I don't know, but I'm hoping you guys will chime in and tell me. And tomorrow, I'll, hopefully I'll learn from Mercury what the hell's going on. But here's my, of course, they don't give you any directions for your motor. My manual doesn't give me any directions. Um, online, I downloaded a manual, nothing about the impeller. They want you to go get it serviced, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to call this part one. I'm sorry I opened up a couple mysteries, but a couple of tricks I'll help you with that I learned the hard way. I have it in neutral. I marked it with a magic marker right here. So if you do bump it out of gear, I know that this little mark I put on it with a magic marker is facing forward. You can easily turn this and put it into gear and check if it's in reverse or forward. This will always be spinning clockwise. So that helps you with your impeller direction when you go to stick it on under the housing. You want that peller, the, the, the blades of the impeller to be rounded in that direction. I'll show you my old impeller. My old impeller, unfortunately, well, unfortunately, <laughs> in good, it was in um, good shape. So this would be in this, this direction, the bend in that direction as that spins. So I want to install the new one with the idea of it spinning that way clockwise. So this gear shift thing, put a magic marker mark on it and you'll see when it's in gear and you can easily get it in neutral. What I did learn is that if it's not sitting in a level situation, it tends to want to drift into gear or fall into reverse, maybe it into forward as well. So just be cautious of that because when you go to stick it back together, you obviously don't want to wrestle with it too much. Oh, and I wanted to show you one other little coupler thing. That plastic, where the hell did it go? Oh, shoot. Anyway, there's a plastic sleeve, you'll see it, it goes on here. And that was on here to help guide this back together. It's a little plastic barrel with a slot in it. And it only goes one way, so that's that's cool. I like it when parts only can go one way, then you, there's no mystery. So I gotta clean this up a little better. I just hosed it off and degreased it, but there's some stuff on here I'm gonna clean up a little better. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a total reassembly till tomorrow, I get the answers from Mercury directly, and we'll go from there. So this will be part one. I'll be adding more videos to this. Uh, just search my my channel for Mercury Impeller, uh, 90 horsepower, 2011 four-stroke. Thanks, guys.